I'm a comic addict and I need myself some of that Fantastic Four number five. But times are tough and so I have decided to sell my body. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, hey, that's a pretty good looking guy. I bet he could command quite a bit on the escort market. But I'm sorry to disappoint some of you, but I'm actually not going to be prostituting myself. So, what is it then that I'm doing? Well, I'll tell you in just a minute, but first I wanna mention that this possibility isn't available to everyone, but I wanna introduce an idea to get your wheel spinning so that you can try to think of a similar idea and make some money that will help you afford your own comic book grail. And so what is it that I'm doing? Well, I have started to donate plasma. Now, if you're not familiar with plasma donation, basically you go to your local plasma donation center, which once again, isn't available everywhere, but there are a lot of towns and cities that have them and you get hooked up to a machine and they draw out some blood, spin it around and get all the plasma out and then put your blood back into you. And the whole process takes about an hour and then at the end, you get paid, depending on the company, about $65. And you can donate up to twice a week. And so what that means is that in a year time, you can make about $5,000 with only two hours of work a week that then you can put towards your comic book grail. And what's even better is that even though it's technically two hours of work, it's, it's not really that because once they have you strapped in, which takes about five minutes, you know, they take your blood pressure and all that, then you're free to bring a tablet or a book and just read or surf the internet or whatever you want to do. And so I try to read about an hour each day anyway, uh, both comic books and, you know, I don't know, the opposite of comic books, just regular books. And so what I do is the day of the week that I go grocery shopping, on my way to the grocery store, which is near our donation center, I bring the book that I'm planning to read that day and just hook up to the machine and just read and then get that $65. And not only do I get that money that I can then use for my Fantastic Four number five that I'm hoping to get this year, but also I'm doing something that will benefit others. You know, the big kind of tagline of Octopharma, which is the company that's here in Charlottesville, is earn money while saving lives. Now, once again, not every town, of course, is gonna have a plasma donation center, though quite a few actually do, but there are a few other similar things you could look into. For example, you can check to see if your local hospital or university offers any clinical trials for compensation. Back in my early 20s, when I was single and very poor, I signed up for a lot of paid psychological studies, which first of all, I just enjoyed. I think it's really interesting to see how the brain works. And of course, a lot of people do. That's why probably tons of you have done personality tests online. And so there are studies that I, I might would have just done for free, but I did end up getting paid for those. And they helped me out again in, in those days where times truly were tough. But even if you don't have something like that, Hopefully me talking about this is getting your wheels turning and helping you to kind of think about if there is something that you could do in your free time that would just bring a little bit of extra money in that then you could tuck away until you have enough to afford that comic grail that you're looking for. And I'd be curious to hear in the comments if any of you have any actual practical suggestions for me or anyone else to consider where we can once again earn just a little bit of extra cash with just a little bit of work. And also, of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, of course, I'd appreciate if you consider doing so now. Well, before I leave, I also have another question for all of you. And so my last two videos that I've done have all been about the CGC scandal, and I've gotten a great response from those videos. And so I'm thinking of doing some more, but at the same time, I, I don't wanna beat a dead horse. And so I'm curious, would you like more analysis of the CGC scandal? For example, I almost did a video tonight where I talked about why I think think more and more there might have been someone on the inside helping out with this scam. 
Now, I don't know, and it's a little bit of a tinfoil hat conspiracy, but there are some interesting thoughts that I have. And would you be interested in hearing those, or are you just kind of over the CGC scandal now? There's been obviously tons of people doing videos, and you're ready for me just to go on making other content. Or do you want me to take a break from the scandal for a couple of weeks, but then revisit it a few weeks down the line, especially if any new information comes out? I'm really curious to know. And if you have any other suggestions for content that you would like me to produce, I'm always open to suggestions. Many of my videos are based out of questions people have asked in the comments. So leave a question below or just comment about anything else we've talked about today. Once again, of course, I'd love your sub if I don't already have it, and I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I look forward to the next one.